check out these caramel snickerdoodle bars. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo Max 12. Hello, everyone. This recipe has three layers. We're going to do the base layer first. That's one cup of butter and two cups of brown sugar. Cream those things together until it's nice and creamy and light and fluffy. Then add in two teaspoons of vanilla extract and two eggs. Continue to blend until that's nice and creamy. And then add in a teaspoon of salt, as well as two teaspoons of baking powder. Now you're gonna gradually incorporate two and one half cups of all-purpose flour. Keep adding until it's all combined. You're gonna end up with a fairly uh, stiff dough. And then you'll prepare your pan. That's a nine by 13 inch pan that's been lined with aluminum foil and it greased. Take that dough, spread it out in the bottom. Uh, I find it easier to use my hands for this. I just dampen them a little bit with water and it, it worked very well, it didn't stick at all. Spread your dough out. Then you're gonna bake this at 350 degrees for 30 minutes until the edges are brown. Now for the topping, that is one quarter cup of sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon. Mix that together. And then I reviewed the recipe while my crust was baking and realized that it actually asked for a topping, half of that topping that I just showed you. It asked you to put half the topping before it was baked. So I took it out of the oven, sprinkled the sugar on it and put it back in the oven for another two, three minutes just to try to get the sugar to adhere to it. So when you make this yourself, don't forget to sprinkle it before you put it in the oven. It worked out okay though. Now for the next layer, you'll need two cans or jars of Dulce de Leche, 14 ounces each. And then you're gonna put this in the microwave for about 30 seconds, 45 seconds, just to heat it up so that it's easier to pour and to spread. And you're gonna spread this over your crust layer. And the crust at this point has cooled completely. Spread it around until it's nice and even. And then we're gonna work on the third layer. Now in a medium sized saucepan, you're gonna place 12 ounces of white chocolate chips, as well as a third of a cup of heavy whipping cream. I just used plain old milk and a tablespoon of light corn syrup. You're gonna stir this over medium low heat until the chocolate's melted and you end up with a nice white, smooth white chocolate ganache. You're gonna take this and pour it as evenly as you can over the caramel layer. Don't try to spread it too much because you'll end up mixing it with your caramel layer if you do. So pour it on and leave it. Then they'll have, you'll have the remaining half of that cinnamon sugar left. Sprinkle that over top evenly. And then you're gonna put this in the refrigerator and allow it to set completely. Okay, here you go, finished product. And my final comments on this recipe. Is it worth the trouble? Well, you know what? The answer is yes and no. And I'm gonna explain that. No, because these are okay, but they're not spectacular. But yes, because I think I can show you a way to make these even better than what they are. First of all, um, I found the bottom layer to be a little bit on the hard side, and that might have been partly my fault because I overbaked these just a touch. The bottom is like a sugar cookie, and uh, you're supposed to bake it till just the edges are light brown, and I think I baked it a little bit more than I should have because, of course, I forgot to put the sprinkles on and then put them on and then put them back in the oven. That caramel layer is nice, except it's really, really sweet. And it squishes out. So you try to cut these and you get uh, dulce de leche squishing out all over, all over your knife, all over your fingers when you're trying to pick them up. And it's better to pick them up to eat them because the crust part is a little bit on the dense side. The topping is really good, a white chocolate ganache. I don't think I've ever had, so that was kind of neat to have. So what I would suggest to make these awesome would it be to replace that dulce de leche with a homemade caramel recipe. And I have a really good one that I've already done and it's on my millionaire shortbread video. So take that caramel recipe, use it on these bars and I think they would make them really, really good. So the link to that will be on your screen and the description box below. For my long-term viewers, hello and thank you very much. 
but they also know that I tell them the truth in my videos if I make a mistake, which I do remarkably often, seriously. Um, I will tell you, and if I don't like a recipe, I will tell you, and I usually come up with suggestions to what I think will make it better. So if you want to see more of this, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.